so we're starting some crate training and we are just going to use some regular dog chow and with him it's kind of nice because you can hear it fall into the kennel Free. and then I start teaching the release word right away so again throw the food in he goes in and then just give him a little free just before he comes out free I love the word free as his release word because it's kind of a high pitch fun word it can excite a dog and help them I didn't find the ones I threw in there. Good. Now I'm going to start saying the word I'm going to use for his kennel command, which is simply going to be kennel. Kennel. waiting for him to finish free and encouraging him to come out you're just gonna do this over and over and over and you can feed him dinner doing this Kennel. just saying the word as he goes in free and then letting him out okay and just do this over and over be real patient with him Kennel. Baker, you give him one for coming out too. Remember, we're just kind of, we're playing a game in the kennel, out the kennel, kennel, so he doesn't feel like he's being captured when he goes in. Free. There you go. You can love on him a little bit. Just turn it into a fun game. And even in this situation, if he gets bumpy with me and he tries to start taking the food out of my hand, I'm just gonna push him off. Kennel. There's one where there's a little hesitation on his part, and I just remained quiet. Free! I don't want to keep talking to him, because if I keep talking to him, I could confuse him. And what I mean by that is if I keep repeating the command over and over and over. So I just be quiet. See if I can just let it play out. Come on. Good. Free! I said that a little too early. Good. You notice I do have a leash on him too, which is, you know, maybe a little overkill inside here. He's really focused on me. Um, I could probably take it off him. Kennel. But I do use a leash a lot of times inside the house too. Free. When I'm doing stuff like this, just in case he goes to wander off and wants out of the game. I get your good boy. Get him going. Kennel. Good. There's a good boy. I would highly recommend doing this even when you go to put him in the kennel for a nap or at night when it's bedtime or feeding time. Just get him in the habit of running in there and getting a little snack for it. Okay. Before you know it, this little movement kennel that I'm doing with my hand will be his hand signal for going into the kennel. Good boy. Free. There you go. Now this time I'm going to change it up a little bit and just close the door behind him. Wait a second. Kennel. I want him to turn around and recognize that it's closed. Good. Just wait him out a second and then open it and release him at the same time. Free. Okay. Just so he kind of gets used to going in, getting captured for a short period. Kennel. But again, doesn't mean that he's going to be in there for a few hours. Kind of switch it up and again, teach him how to deal with. See how he's pushing on it? You don't want to open it then. You want to wait until he's done. Free! And then let him out. Okay? You don't want to reinforce the pushing at the kennel door with his paw by opening the door. Okay? 
just being a puppy. Oh, he's chasing here? This is a perfect example for the leash. Striker. Kennel. Just a little tug on the leash. Keep him engaged with me. Free. He's a good boy. I, and oddly enough, I don't think people use a, a leash in the house enough. Okay, we forget that this is actually an animal. And we're trying to teach him how to behave in our house. And if we don't show him what we want, and a leash is a great way of extending our hand and helping him. If we don't show him what we want, when we actually say certain words, he's not going to pair the two. I missed my release there. He's not going to pair the two. So, for instance, when he was stuck over there looking at Chase, my other dog, I just said his name or got his attention, and I tugged, gave a little tug on the lead to get help me get his attention. Rather than just becoming background noise, I'm actually reaching out and touching him at the same time. Kennel. Get a little kennel door closed again. I'm going to do a couple more of these and just be done for tonight. See if he pitches a fit. There he goes, pushing at the kennel. And wait. Free. Okay, I'm trying to show him. If you don't push at it, I'll let you out. If you do push at it, I'm not going to let you out. Okay, a little action reaction. You guys are going to hear me talk a lot about that. What is my reaction to his behavior? You know, good. Let's see if he pushes at the camera again, and if he does, if it's longer. Free. Oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kennel. So I'm just holding it with my thumb. I'm not actually latching it because it's just easier to open. So he's starting to pick up on the game. Now this one, I'm just going to let him go in and come out. Kennel. No door on this one. Free. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Just, and you know, the great thing about this is not only is he learning something, but we're getting a chance to bond and get to know each other a little bit. Good. Just through training, okay? Just through stuff that I'm gonna need in the future. This dog is gonna have to understand how to be in a kennel and stay in a kennel. <laughs> Eat it. And stay in a kennel for a number of different reasons, whether it's just nap time or bedtime or if he gets injured in the future and he needs to be in a crate. If I travel with him and he's in my vehicle, he's gonna be in a crate. I also use the word kennel for hunting situations when I have him in a hunting dog blind I will use kennel so it's just starting all this at a very early age and imprinting it in his mind that it's a safe place to be free da, 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 da. last one kennel you should do this exercise oh, at least twice a day He's a good boy. He's a good boy. And a lot of times if I'm training and feeding a meal at the same time, I know I'm doing my training because I'm not going to skip feeding the dog for sure. I might get a little lazy and skip training. But if I incorporate the two, if I use the food with the training, I'm killing two birds with one stone. Okay? He's a good boy. Now we'll play a little bit. And then we'll get a chance to go party. And then it's bedtime. Then we go into the kennel for real. Yeah, he's doing really well. Nice dog. Good temperament. Sound. Not spooky. Not soft. Not overly aggressive. Yeah, it's a little independent every now and then, but 
that's okay. We look for a little bit of that in the hunting dog. We don't want too much of it, huh? We gotta work as a team later on. But I don't want a dog who's right on my heel either, huh? Do, 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 do. All right, buddy. All right, guys, so try this with your own dogs at home. Like, subscribe. Epic fail. Ha <laughs> ha.